Hello fashion sewers, it's Colleen G. Lee here and this is fashionsewingblog.com. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to tissue fit and I'm going to be showing you a technique of how to actually pin the tissues pieces together. Okay, right, instead of just pinning how you would actually pin your pattern, your tissue onto fabric, like so, that's the kind of method that we use. It's not often a lot of stability there. So I would actually do it like this. It's kind of like doing a running stitch and I'm using a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance here in order to fit my pattern. And you just go in and out, in and out like so and that offers a lot more stability there and the pins won't come out as easily when you actually fit it on so I'll just put another one in there for you in up and in down and up there just like that so I'm going to continue doing that all the way along and I'm going to continue doing that with all the pattern pieces and when I'm doing the shoulder I'm going to start, as you can see, with the pins there, working there. And when I actually come to shot, I actually put the blunt end of the pin there. Whenever you get an opportunity to do that, um, I would advise you to use the um, blunt end of the pin. Okay, so that, just so that you don't injure yourself or it doesn't stick. Yeah, so it's like that. Okay, right, I'm going to come back to you. I'm going to finish pinning uh, my pattern pieces together and show you what it looks like. Right, I'm halfway through uh, putting my tissue pattern pieces together and I just wanted to quickly show you how I've actually done that. Okay, um, I'm going to be putting this onto this main body here and as I showed you before, that was a shoulder and then um, I showed you how I've actually started to pin it down and the side seams I've done the same where I've actually made sure that the pointy end is not going to be sticking under my armpit there I say and the other end here is ending there right and the same here I've also pinned on the right side of the pattern so you'll actually see the, pat the, the seams on the right side when I actually try it on I haven't gone all the way to the top because that's the, re the reason being is that it's going to be attached to another section of the pattern piece and I've also made sure that the pin end ends there. Okay, right. I'm now going to put it all together now and then I'm going to fit it so you can actually see me how I actually put it on myself, which is going to be quite difficult, but I'll talk you through it. Okay. Hello, I'm back. And um, before I actually go through describing the uh, tissue pattern, I just want to make sure to let you know that you need to wear a good fitting bra and also make sure you, you, uh, you wear a close fitting garment, such as what I'm wearing as a t-shirt, okay? Right, let's begin. Um, as you can see, this is a blouse that I'm actually fitting here. And in order to make sure that the pattern does fall correctly, the centre front line is here, and it's actually written onto the pattern pieces. I think it's the case in most pattern pieces that you find. And the centre front is where your buttonhole is. So mine is there and also finding that it falls right in the alignment of the pattern itself so I won't have to make any adjustments as far as lengthening or shortening my pattern piece either. Um, it falls, yeah, I like the length of it so I don't need to increase that. I'll only be turning it up one centimetre so I'm happy with that. Um, the neckline, um, I do think it's a little bit high so I will be taking some of that away you know, a pop that's about a centimetre, I'm not sure, but I won't do it on the pattern. What I'll do is I'll wait until I cut my fabric out and then make my choice from then. Okay, now the shoulder, I'm happy with the shoulder, I'm happy with the way it falls from this point here to here. It is actually, you may think it's a little bit um, over my shoulder point here, but it's not really because I'm actually um, putting a gathered sleeve head on this and it looked really nice because I think it has allowed it within the pattern to be a little bit extended. Now to the front part of the body here, 
is um, you may be able to see a little pleat in here. What actually is going to happen with this blouse is it's going to be a gathering stitch. So, you know, we are talking about paper here. So um, if there's any fullness that needs to be um, got rid of, then always opt for the dart. So, yeah, I'm happy the way that falls. I'm happy with um, the neckline and the centre front. Okay, I'm now going to turn to the side and I'm going to show you the um, side seam here of the garment. Okay, and that is falling in the right position. It's in alignment all the way down to my ankle, so I'm happy with that. It's not pulling at the front or it's not pulling at the back, so it's sitting quite comfortably. And I'm also happy with the shape of the armour as well. There's enough room for me to move about my arms there, so I won't need to make any alterations there. Remember, fitting a tissue pattern is only general. You may find that once you cut it out in your fabric, because remember, you know, it does have a different characteristic, so you may have to do very minor alterations. Okay, right, and now I'm going to show you the back. Now, um, as you can imagine, um, uh, trying to fit a tissue pattern, you do need help in order to get into it. So my husband helped me to put this on, and I've also looked in a hand mirror um, against the long move to make sure it falls okay. Yeah, and, and I, I am happy with that. The alignment is right in the spine. Yeah. And um, uh, I do believe that I'm quite happy. I think I've got a bit of a big bottom button. <laughs> no, I am happy with that. Okay. Right, so that's it. That's basically all you need to know about fitting a tissue pattern. Just keep it general. Just make sure the alignments are okay. And I'm happy with the button positionings as well. And if there's any pockets. Um, the hardest thing to do is actually trying to fit sleeves. And as this is a set-in sleeve and the sleeve that's going to go into it is a gathered sleeve, it can be quite hard to do that. So I'll actually um, sort that problem out if there is going to be a problem in the actual fabric. So that's all there is. And I hope to see you in my next video. Happy fashion sewing.